Before this video starts, Happy New Year's, guys. We have put out a lot of videos this year covering a lot of new content and Mr. Iron Bar doing Hard Mode of Blood, Full Sunny Nightmare, and the Combat Diaries. We also wrapped up the Solo Raid Specialist series on Huaman Raid, and we've begun the Hardcore Group Iron Man series. Next year is looking quite crazy with next coming out in Leagues 3 shortly after. We also have the long-awaited Raids 3 as well. So, Mr. Iron Bar, my main Iron Man account, is set to make a return once again with the release of Nex, the 5th God Wars Dungeon boss. I will talk more about that content in depth in the prize videos to come, but Nex will be one of the hardest bosses as it will drop tier 80 gear and a bunch of new best assault items. To get everybody on board and up to speed on this new journey on Iron Bar, I will be doing an end of the year bank video. Just to quickly recap on where we are at gear and item wise and other progressions. Then I will quickly cover my goal spreadsheet to reiterate what things are left overall from my personal goals and the new items coming out for next to go for. I'm at my house so you can see all my pets here pretty much with me. We got uh, quite a lot of pets. Uh, most interesting ones are definitely, I would say, uh, the Bloodhound, we got that years ago. And some other ones like the Core from Corporal Beast. We also have the Mudadow pets, but it's in my bank somewhere. But yeah, I have uh, the Jab pet with me and, and also the Dark Beast pet, which is just a reskin of the Versic, but you gotta get the Metamorph item from Harmful Tob. So those are pet stuff quickly covering it and I really like this overlay that they have now to show us kind of like the overall progress of many things about accounts so obviously max combat max skills been that way for a long time to XP um, over a bill I think I got that uh, at the beginning of the year or something quest points uh, apparently there's another quest I haven't done um, it's like some real easy one getting ahead uh, honestly guys you're gonna have to make me do this one because I'm not feeling it but back to the achievement stuff. So we did that like a year or two ago. Achievement Diaries are done. Combat task was a few months ago when they released that. The Combat Diaries. We finished that uh, a few months ago. So that was definitely the hardest thing overall. That is official that I've ever done in this game. So that was a, an absolute pain. And yeah, we get our Zuck helm with that. So I'm just wearing it. Of course. And we have... Uh, collection log but as of right now I'm not like officially going for anything especially because a lot of the stuff is not recorded that I've gone like on Sire bro like what is this I've gone this like 20 times but obviously collection log came out much later so all my existing drops from a bunch of different bosses that I've done already is not included look at this my entire barrels log I've completed all of this but it doesn't say so not as motivated right now to fill in these but maybe in the future I might go for something realistic like filling in the pvm logs at least there's a bunch that obviously can't be done like all the third age but maybe in the future if i have nothing else to do i might revisit the idea of completing this but yeah let me know what you guys think um a lot of these definitely right now i'm not motivated to try and get again even though it should say i have a bunch of these already filled so it's time to visit the bank just to give you guys a quick look and uh, yeah, just talk about things that's happened recently at the same time. But there's just a lot of cover, so I'm not going to talk about everything. But this is my main tab and things have definitely changed quite a lot in this last year because of a bunch of new items that came out from the Harmold Tob and Comet Diaries. So most noticeable, we have this uh, Normal's Hilt. It's a really nice uh, reward. Different teleports to like Inferno and stuff. You get that from completing all the Comet Diaries. And also we have uh, just more things like the Suck Slayer Helmet, just a reskin of a Slayer Helmet, but yeah, prestigious of course. Uh, there's also the new bow that came out this year that basically is the Blade of Saldor, but they turn into a seed version, so you can use the seed to make either that or the bow. And I think I got a bunch of new Nightmare items too. Uh, was it this year or is it slightly the year before? Yeah, one of some of these were recent and we have the holy synchronicity staff that's just a recolor it's just a sang staff but you get the owl kit from the harmful top so i have that and also we have the sanguine side of the vitter and the holy side of the vitter again 
reskins too. I'm wearing the Sanguine one right now. You get the Blood Kit and the Holy Kit from Harmel Top, so you can dye it. And some of the more recent items was Ring of Endurance. That was an absolute biatch to get, man. Like, I gained 10 mils agility XP trying to get this, but best in slot ring for conserving energy. Really good for skilling, and you can even use that like Sarah, stuff like that. Some other recent items were probably Rev Dross, but that was probably over a year ago. Got a bunch of Rev uh, equipment as well. Yeah, I got all the Rev items and a uh, Duke Crossbow, so that's nice. Anyways, I'll, I'll cover more of that as we go down. But yeah, we have our standard um, God Wars gear, Armadale, Bandos, uh, Inquisitors, all the Void stuff. Full Ancestral with the kits added to make it look nicer. So it's not the standard Ancestral, because this one looks more like... I, I like this one more than the original. Uh, yeah, Spirit Shields. Don't have Spectral. That's still on the list. Maybe when next comes out and it somehow becomes like Vestas out there, I might go for it again. But not too much motivation. All the standard boots, best and slot boots, minus the um, the holy boots. What do you call those? The devout boots. I'm missing the holy sandals for it. So eventually, I want to get that too because it's best and slot prayer. It would motivate me to kill Hydra with a pet or something. And we have the Blade of Souther, of course. That was like a year plus ago. A bunch of nightmare items. Uh, you know, some twisted boys. And if you go down here, we have just a bunch of different weapons from raids, from dragon-related monsters. Uh, we don't have the magic version. What's it called? The skeletal shield? We don't have that, but we'll get it eventually. No, we don't have the ancient wyvern shield, but we'll we'll probably get that eventually passively through Slayer. Uh, we also have the reskin Dragon Hunter crossbow that you get from Combat Diaries. And uh, yeah, we go down here, just more standard stuff. I don't have to explain these too much. Nope, don't have to explain these, but you get the idea. So this tab is kind of like miscellaneous items I use occasionally, like sometimes in the wilderness or something. Like just very niche times I use it, so I'll, I'll have these here. But yeah, nothing too crazy to explain. Other than this, I mean, 85 Dragon Axes, I'm going for Diagonal Pets here and there, so that's why I have so many of these. Like, 85, goddamn. That's way too many. Uh, let's see, a lot of assemblers. I lost a few during the rev grind way back, but it's, uh, yeah, still way too many. Uh, we go down here, this is just miscellaneous loot tab here. So we got the Drake's Tooth recently, as I had said. Just need those holy sandals to make the devout boots. All the rev weapons. And uh, Blood Shard, that's more recent, yeah. That came from the Sins of a Father, you kill the Sentinels for it. And you can add to your Fury, really nice for um, healing while you're doing melee stuff. Found that really nice at Corp, and uh, just don't use it too much now, but yeah, it's good, it's good for Corp when I was doing the sweatier method. And we have some extra Sang Kits that uh, I don't really have a use for from Harmon Top. A bunch of Blade of Saldors. AKA uh, bows as well, because I can turn them into the seeds. Jesus Christ, man, they're 231 mil each. Jesus. But yeah, I got a bunch because I'm at like 2,000 Corrupted Gauntlet trying to get the pets. And yeah, we're dry. We're almost like 3x dry. Um, yeah, a bunch of spirit shields. Uh, we got a bunch of random God War stuff. And a bunch of barrels items still. A bunch of Slayer dupes. Bunch of Fistages, I have way too many of these. Killing Vorkath for the pet. I got like three from Vorkath or something. A bunch of dragon items that you get from like a bunch of different places. Uh, yeah. Yep, lots of dupes from pet hunting for sure. Lots of Alk fodder. I can make a lot of GP off of this, but I don't really need the GP, so we just save it. Lots of ammunition. Okay, I still have 8,000 Dragon Bolts. I was concerned because... They did hint that next might require a crossbow or desirable to have a crossbow there. So, yeah, we know we need those dragon bolts for sure. For sure. So I have a bunch still. And yeah, lots of ammunition heads that I can turn into stuff if I want. Lots of champion scrolls. This is a funny story. 17 champion scrolls. Like, if you missed it, you're asking, why the hell do you have 17? Well, Brio Fighters Essence took me 90,000 monster giant kills, so 1 in 5k each. 
I missed the champ scroll too, I think. I, I left one on the ground by accident. But <laughs> yeah, somehow just passively I got five champ scrolls. But no motivation to go for a champ cape because it's not something I would ever wear. Unless they somehow add that to the max cape as a cosmetic, then I go for it, for sure. Yeah, lots of leftover heads. Uh, some more rev items that I never turn into coins. And it's just cool to have it. I have plenty of space, as you can see. I have like 100 space, so it's fine. And this is uh, all the clue scroll related stuff. So anytime I need to do clue scroll, elites or masters, I have all these items here. For that. Oh, lots of marks of grace though. Uh, I can make a bunch of stamas with that. And yeah, that's pretty much it. All these are clue scroll related items. So if you need a snapshot of this for end game clue scroll stuff, just snapshot this. This is what you'll need. And down here is just all the runes. Lots and lots of runes, man. I get a bunch from bossing and I don't end up using all of them. Most of these, I almost never run out. The only runes that I actually do run out and I have to actively uh, either buy or make is blood runes. So I'm constantly making blood runes. Um, Astral runes, I got to buy some occasionally. But yeah, blood runes, I make them because it's AFK. Look at my runecrafting XP as you can see. 31 million. So yeah, <laughs> post 77 pretty much is where all my all the blood runes started coming from. 77, 31 mil. And yeah, a bunch of uh, diary, teleports, tools. I like to put all my teleports and tools in one spot. So we have all the achievement, diary, rewards, and teleports here. Really handy. Recent uh, addition is the Enchanted Liar in, in or I. I guess it's imbued, but it lets you teleport to the different Freemitic areas as many times as you want. So it's really good for clue scrolls. And yeah, this is a new addition. Amy's saw. This saw is nice because you can wield it. I know there's a wieldable hammer. I should probably get around to getting that at some point. That you get from one of the free-to-play quests or something. And it's not hard to get. And yeah, there's not much else down here. But we have the lucky open jars. I opened 50 already, but I'm trying to stack up on these. So if any of the boys in the CC ever sees them, definitely leave me a message. I, I'm trying to stock up. I'll write people's names down too, to credit them. Uh, okay, we don't really need to explain too much here. Oh, law pigs, these are nice. Uh, I got them from Sepulchre, going for the, the Ring of Endurance. Now, this is really good for skipping barrows. So if I want to fill that barrows log again, yeah, for the second time, I guess, this is nice because you can use it to skip the doors at barrows. Saves a lot of time. Uh, down here, lots of resources. I guess this is worth talking about because this is a lot of XP. I, I have no idea how much XP is on all of this. But y'all can do some math if you want, but tons of craft XP. I'm not sure. This is all from Vorkath probably, like 4,000 Vorkath or something. And amongst other things, I, I have no idea where else. There's just too many mobs that drop dehydes. Uh, does Hydra drop something? Well, a lot of the Slayer bosses, like when I go pen hunting, yeah, they drop something. I'll show you guys my, my KC for bosses in my spreadsheet. So that way you can kind of get an idea of what kind of resources I got from what. Okay, so all the gems, um, just from a bunch of different places. Gauntlet, probably number one suspect. Lots of tall cool from like Inferno and stuff like that. Mm, sharks, not sure where that's from. Not sure, but uh, lots of rune dart tips. That was my main darts until they decided to add amethyst darts after the nip the blowpipe. So I still have 8,000 amethyst. I did amethyst from 92 to 99 mining, so I have a bunch of amethyst arrows and tips. That I can use for T bow and blowpipe. Wow, what is all of this from? I don't, I don't even know. But yeah, lots of gold ore too from like Socano, amongst other things. But yeah, I did a lot of Socano and I got a bunch of gold ore from that. Lots of dragon bones uh, from Hydra, probably and Vorkath. Lots of Dianoth bones from killing Dagonoth kings, of course. <laughs> 255 long bows, 15 current bones. Yeah, I already hinted at where it's from. It's from the Moss Giant Grind for the Bureau of Fighters Essence. Yep, I gained, I literally have a mil plus XP in, in these construction bones. Yeah, lots of insole heads that I just collect from Slayer and Dagonoth Kings, I guess. Lots of planks, lots of wood. Mm, where's these from, honestly? Haven't got a clue, man. I haven't got a clue, but I have a lot of these. Uh, a lot of the rest of these. Oh, God. I still have these magic longbows from like many years ago. I still have not made them onto longbows. I, I don't care, I guess, to do that. 
but yeah hmm okay that's it there's not much else to talk about here uh down here is all the herb stuff this tab gets heavily heavily worked on all the time because i make potions all the time i use them all the time so there's a bunch of stuff that i'm constantly refilling and replenishing every potion almost like super combats range pots brews restores you name it i gotta do all of those and then on top of that i have to do the divine versions too because different situations you might divine sometimes you might not right or you use both so it ends up using a lot of these and yeah other potions here like sand few serums antifires too even like i use them a lot so there's just a lot of activity going on here i have to do a lot of farming no joke a lot of farming based on the amount of pvm that i do especially combat diaries that made me go through so many super combats and i'm getting kind of low again so i probably need to do it again so it's such a pain. Gotta make more super strengths and defenses for the super combats, but it's all right. Um, let's see here. I mean, there's a bunch of leftover herbs that I'll never use, though, that we end up not needing to use, just because yeah, they they you get a lot more than you ever need later on in in your ironing uh, career, I guess, if you play that long. Uh, lots of seeds. I haven't really been doing contracts or anything on this account because like I was already. 99 farming plus and i only did some contracts for the farming pet recently which i got so so all of this will slow down i guess and down here is kind of like miscellaneous blue scroll rewards that i can't put in my house so i can quickly go into my house after this and show you some of my uh, clue scroll stuff i guess but yeah the pages unfortunately they don't have like a a god page folder for me i wish they added that item or something that'd be sick right like you just put all your extra pages in in the um folder that'd be sick but yeah it's okay i've got a bunch of kits i have four of these i already turned three of them into anguish a while ago dram full helm three of these and uh, ring of third age i don't consider this third age i still to this day have never gotten third age though and then down here is the actively worked on tab. So whenever I need to train a skill or something, I'll just put the thing that I need to train in one separate tab. So it's less things to look at, right? This is just too much going on. So I'd rather put my potions I'm making here so that it's easy to kind of just spot, right? Just my style. You could obviously do your own way. And uh, okay, so... Yeah, we, we were working a lot of darts back in the day, but obviously these darts are so outdated. So this tab is kind of outdated because I have not put much thought into this tab recently. But yeah, this should be like Amethyst, right? Amethyst instead. And we have this last tab again. This is like one of those tabs that that I use once in a while. Like, I guess this is like a actively fishing tab. I, I do a lot of AFK fishing, so... But yeah, th this doesn't really deserve his own tab. I I'm not gonna lie. This could probably just go here, combine or something. But yeah. All right, that's pretty much my bank. And uh, apparently, my bank is worth 16 bill. I mean, item prices be going down a ton. So, so yeah, it's really hard to gauge. I think it was like at one point 20 bill. I've dropped several bill worth of stuff in the past. Like I've out the Tebow from this account, so that could have been an easy, you know. An extra bill right there. I dropped a bunch of deck scrolls when they were worth like 50 to 100 mil. I think I dropped like three bill worth of stuff like two years ago. Right before Nightmare came out or right around Nightmare came out. So yeah, I think at some point it was valued at 20. But it, but just for you guys, right? Like I played this account not caring too much about the price value. Because what I value isn't the number, right? It's, it's the experience and the time that I put in. But for you guys, though, you know, I know y'all y'all love to see the price value. So, yeah, that's that's what it is right now. It's around 16 bill. And that is it for the bank, for the most part. The bank is concluded. So let's go to our house and I'll show you my clue scroll stuff real quick. I don't think I'm going to do much editing for this part. Honestly, it's a bank video, so. Okay, we can quickly just look at all the clue scroll stuff. I am not uh, too big on easies or medium, so I'm not going to bother. Uh, I guess I can show you medium real quick. I haven't done much on here, honestly. I'm, I'm not focused too much on that. But yeah, maybe one day, maybe one day. But 
anyways like the main things are from heart upwards so we have a bunch of dehide stuff i've kind of stopped doing hard clues honestly i've gotten all the important hard clue stuff that you need for master clues and like elite clues so i've just stopped doing those but i do elites though and masters all right so for elites a yeah, decent amount of things completed decent amount love to complete the, the samurai set though I'm, I'm close i just need one more item i think the samurai sets master though actually so so let's go to the master master is the, like the thing i work on the most for sure because i still have a lot of kits i want to get for jewelry like the torture kits uh the anguish crit i only have actually not the anguish crit i only have the anguish crit i don't have the occult the torture or the tormented so unfortunate yeah unfortunate here samurai said just need the boots yep if i have the boots man then we we are done with that so it's time to talk about the progress in a bit more of a data format because it's easier to follow i'll show you things i've already done things that i still want to do and upcoming things that we need to work on for this new year a lot of you guys want out your own copy but uh do not request a copy all you gotta do is click on this link here you can find this link to this spreadsheet in any iron bar video description but yeah click on this and then you click on this and it'll open you to a clean version you can make your own copy just click file right and then make copy and that's it you don't have to send me an email i get a lot of deals for for no reason but anyways so anything that's in green here as you can see for the different bosses is completed Anything that's pink means I don't have it. And I want to get it at some point. But yeah, Barrow's done. Slayer bosses are done. Godward bosses are done. Zora is pretty much done. Theater of Blood's all done. Chambers is done. Corp is not done because of Spectral. And yeah, Calphite Queen's done. Wilderness is mostly done. Minus Ring of the Gods. Um, Dagonaut King's been done, of course. Uh, miscellaneous PVM. There's a bunch of dragon stuff that I want to get, so full helm, play body. I, I get these eventually, hopefully through Slayer while I'm pet hunting. And clues and on PVM, like the kits like I said from Clue Scrolls, still need to work on that. Swift Blade, Best in Slot, Retake Stab. Weapon, it's minor, but I do want to get it. Uh, Let's talk Chambers, we finished that a long time ago. Theater of Blood, finished that a long time ago. Inferno, a long time ago. Forecat, a long time ago. All the elf stuff a long time ago nightmare there's still the harm orb left but it's not super useful so i kind of just kept it chill uh challenge mode versions of the other bosses we finished those a while ago the chambers one a long time ago harm mode theater of blood i finished that wasani's nightmare i don't have the pet nor do i have the parasitic egg so still gotta get that also the harm orb i can get from Fosani too so this is definitely the boss to go to and we have next coming up next coming up real real soon guys so next we'll be dropping the torva full helm uh the torva plate body torva plate legs best in slot melee gear overall it won't beat inquisitor though when it comes to crush situations though we have zari van braces best in slot range gloves zari crossbow best in slot crossbow with added effects ancient godsword not really sure how to describe it it's like a pretty strong god sword but not sure if it'll be too useful so these are the bosses that i have done and the cases approximately of how much i've killed as some of it might be slightly outdated but as you can see most of them are in the thousands that's why a lot of the resources i have so much from these guys but yeah we still have some pets that i want to get oh tango root i got that already yes as you can see i've been neglecting this one this uh, tab a little bit. I'm slacking on that. But I got this around... Oh no, I got this around 40 mil XP. I don't have the fishing pad and the beaver pad. I want these because they're AFK. So it's pretty chill. But yeah, in terms of bosses. Diagonal Rex Jamble. King Black Dragon, Seracnus, Alchemical Hydra, Kriara. Uh, we got this already. So might as well update it now, I guess. Top Dust is, is done. Unlive and Suck. Yep. Still a lot of pets i want to get and i guess soon next i'm gonna have to put in next uh also put jars too as well just because why not and here is the other achievements like max cape done that uh, apparently in 2018 
achievement diary i finished that uh what is this uh 2020 so uh two years ago almost yep quest cape music cape gun those a long time ago and i put in the combat achievements too zuck helmet we got that three months ago so yep that's pretty much all it is